Gonna talk to you about financial computing and analytics. Don't freak out. Money does not buy happiness, but in this day and age, the world of finance is what keeps everything going. Maybe you've heard of Kurzweil's law of accelerating returns. It implies that the rate at which technology is evolving is exponential. Consequently, the massive production of data has created what is now known as big data. So clearly, financial analysis methods need to be upgraded, and here at UCL, this is what the Financial Computing and Analytics Group is researching. So what's the first thing that comes to mind when hearing about finance? The stock market. And in the age of speed and information, a method to improve the process is algorithmic trading, aiming to optimize the use of resources in the process of stock exchange. Now, if we want to maximize profits, high-frequency trading is the way to do so. This algorithm trades a very large amount of stocks at a very high speed, gaining a very small amount of money from each one. The result is a low-risk, high-reward method of trading. For the global economy, this has its drawbacks. See the flash crash in 2010, a trillion-dollar market crash caused mainly by these algorithms. But for the individuals using them, it's damn profitable. Another important research topic here at UCL is blockchain technology. In a nutshell, it's a public transaction book, secure and decentralized. We usually rely on banks to take care about verifying digitized monetary transactions. That would be our trusted third party. Blockchain ends the need for any third party and replaces it with a peer-to-peer -peer computer network. Imagine that instead of needing to wait a couple of days to send money overseas to a family member, you can do that by clicking a button, without the need for banks or expensive fees. Risk is intrinsic to any type of business, mainly due to the financial aspect. This is where financial risk management steps into play, in order to minimize a company's exposure to risks. For example, a type of risk for a bank would be the fact that some customers will not be able to pay back the loan. One of these customers would have a high credit score. A risk manager will let the bank know when the credit score is approaching danger levels and help them steer back to a safer risk level. So what if you're not taking care of your risk levels? Well, let's look back at the disastrous 2008 banking crisis, when many domestic banks were in a critical condition due to the failure of risk management. Imagine how beneficial it would be if we could predict the forthcoming financial crisis. This could be achieved with the use of machine learning, a branch of artificial intelligence which aims to provide computer programs with the ability to learn by analyzing large volumes of data. Human interaction with the Internet has resulted to massive data sources which, when analyzed, can offer a new perspective on the behavior of market participants. For example, a recent study has shown that increases in search volume for financially relevant terms is usually followed by large losses in financial markets. This is fascinating in terms of financial potential. UCL is currently working with the Bank of England, the Financial Conduct Authority and other finance agencies to teach students how to revolutionize the way technology is used in the future. Created using Powtoon.